Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Today on TFB TV, I want to tell you about my favorite subcompact double stack 9mm. That is the Smith & Wesson M&P 9C. As I'll mention going forward in this video, I think the M&P 9C is a good gun in its own right. It has a lot of features for a subcompact, especially one this inexpensive. I think I picked this one up for around $400, so it's substantially less than a Glock. Why do I like the M&P 9C? It's good, but when you compare it to other entries in the field, it really sets itself apart and stands out as a great value and generally an efficient gun. Let me explain a little bit more. So let me talk about the M&P 9C just generally. First of all, Novak low profile sights. That's actually pretty hard to find, especially on a gun that costs less than its closest competition, perhaps the Glock 26. So not only does the M&P 9C have better sights than other guns out there, but it's got really neat and functional slide serrations. They're kind of this wavy, I mean, serrated serrations almost uh, on here, and they are really grippy and they look good. Not that that's the most important thing, but let's talk about the most important thing, and that is reliability. Now, I'll concede that the Glock 26, which has been out for, gosh, over 20 years now, I think, uh, you could definitely concede that the 26 has a longer track record for reliability. And if I remember correctly, I think the M&P series may have stutter stepped a little bit when they were first introduced, but you know, it's a brand new gun platform and that's to be expected. This one's been 100% for me, uh, just like my Glock 26 has been 100% for me. And because I'm gonna have to keep bringing up the Glock 26, since that's really what uh, you're comparing the M&P 9C to if you're shopping for something in this range. The M&P 9C comes with a Picatinny rail on the dust cover. Now we're talking about a gun ultimately designed for concealed carry. So, uh, you know, that's not really necessary but that said, uh, you may as well have the option. Fourth gen Glock 26s do give you the option to change your back strap. Um, and the Smith & Wesson M&P 9C is no different. Um, well, actually it's slightly different. The Glock, you're really just changing out the back strap itself. With the M&P 9C, uh, with their grips, you're changing really the rear half of the grip. I do want to say that um, the, the M&P 9C, while the frame is grippy, uh, is, is that a term, grippy? Uh, the frame's grippy, but not as grippy as the new Gen 4 Glock 26. That stippling that it has on the grip is really aggressive, and I tend to like that a little bit more than the M&P 9C. I gotta say, I like the M&P 9C's magazine release button better. It's a lot better than the hunk of rectangular plastic that's jutting from the Glock frame. Uh, this one's a little bit more organic, a little bit more ergonomic, uh, and, and I much prefer it. The, I would say the trigger is equally uh, to the Glock. Maybe not as crunchy, but still it's not that great. Just like the Glock, you've got a lot of initial take up. Hear all that? And then you hit a wall and no over travel. You know, it releases the striker. So, I mean, it's not bad, it's serviceable. But really what has to be my favorite thing about the M&P 9C, we were talking about relativity earlier, relative to the Glock 26, the M&P 9C is almost identical in all dimensions, including weight. Uh, it weighs the same, it's about the same width, about the same length, height, everything. However, you cram two more rounds into the M&P 9C flush fit. That's very important, flush fit, because there are going to be people that will get on here and say, oh, you can put 15 round magazines in the Glock 26. It's like, yeah, you can, but then you, you've basically got a frame uh, or, or a butt the size of the 19, so it's kind of what's the point. Um, so you get 20% more ammo in the M&P 9C over the Glock 26, and that's a big deal to me. The M&P 9C, the, I believe they use melanite finish on these guns, and it is pretty damn durable. It's been proven. Um, I can't say if 
the Glock finish is better, Tenifer. I can't say if it's better than this melanite coating used uh, on the M&P. But what I will say is they're both really good. And I, I mean, I can make a gun rust. If it's possible for it to rust, it will. Uh, here it's, you know, 100% humidity all the time. I'm always around salt water and uh, sweat, sweat. You know, I sweat on my carry guns because it's so damn hot. So I'd go so far to say that maybe my three favorite finishes in the firearms industry, as far as handguns go, uh, would have to be Glock's Tenefer finish. I think the Smith & Wesson, the M&P Melanite finish is really good. And I've also had no problems ever with SIG's Nitron finish on their guns. Takedown's really easy. Takedown on this gun's really easy. You've got a takedown lever right here. You just slide everything to the rear, uh, push this down, this takedown lever down 90 degrees. Uh, release the slide, pull the trigger, everything comes off the front, and then the guts all pop out just like in every other gun. Talking about numbers, it's got a three and a half inch barrel length, an overall length of 6.7 inches, overall height of 4.3 inches, and width of 1.2 inches. You can see very close to the Glock 26. It comes with three polymer palm swell grip sizes in the box. The gun weighs 22, well, 21.7 ounces, and it comes with two magazines, one flat butt plate and one finger rest plate. I like the one with the finger rest so you can get a full grip on it for the range, uh, but the flat butt plate is nice to have for concealed carry. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my perspective on the issue. There are a lot of good subcompact double stack 9mm on the market today. Of course, the Glock 26 being one of my favorites, and Springfield makes some great subcompact variants of the Springfield XD. However, if you crunch the numbers, if you guys remember my gun math video from a few months back, I saw that this gun, while it holds 12 rounds, is roughly the same size as the Glock 26 that I'd been carrying for a long time. So on its own merits, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9C is a great gun with a lot of good features for a subcompact. But again, talking about relativity, if you compare it to other entries in the field purely on paper, the, I really think the M&P 9C comes out on top. Again, no disrespect to all you other guys that have good double stack 9mm subcompact guns. We're living in a golden age right now. There's a lot of great options out there. But I'd love to hear what your impressions are of the M&P 9C in the comments. Uh, I'd like for you to subscribe. Thank you for watching and thank you to Ventura Munitions as usual. I'll see you guys next week.